you guys are at West Iron Tech today and the sophomores here, I'm going to model one of these and then they're going to go ahead and remove it themselves. But what we got here is we want to we want to remove this race that's in the swing arm here for the suspension travel here. And without having a special tool from Honda that would pull that up or whatnot, one of the tricks is we're just going to weld a washer in here and we're going to come through with a big driver through the other side and then we're going to drive the race out. We'll demonstrate the whole the whole thing on one side. Now one thing, I don't have my welder set up, I'm not sure, I might have to play around the settings to get this right, but one thing that we've done is we've sandblasted this area here to get as clean as possible, and also sandblasted the washer that we're going to weld to it so we don't have any big issues. Sometimes, actually, all you have to do is just literally weld a bead on here, and as you're welding a bead, you can turn the part upside down, that'll actually shrink the race and it'll just fall out. But we're going to go ahead and do the traditional method of uh, welding the washer. So flip this back up. And Ross, you'll be coming here a little bit. Cross your eyes. Okay. All right, everybody clear? Go ahead and take a look at what I just did. Not perf, perf it's not even, it's not a terrible weld. It's actually welder got uh, pretty good settings right off the get-go. But the washer's not even perfect in there because it doesn't matter. I'm just going to drive it out. Let's uh, flip it around this way. Cover. Try and hurry with this. We'll go here and watch right there. How much? Yep. Go grab that. Go. Okay. Stop. So that's it. No damage to the swing arm, no damage to anything else, and uh, life is good. And we would use the appropriate tools. Go ahead and bring that in here. Flip that up here. We would use the appropriate tools to uh, install the new races or whatnot. So what we'd like to see now is you guys do.